It's a little bit of a negotiation between what you as the runner are comfortable with and what we've seen works quite well. So my starting point with people is to, to have a look at, at how old or how young they are, how fast and how slow they are. And those are two separate scales. Sometimes they, they, they coincidentally are the same thing. But for example, if you're a much older runner but, but very fast for your age, I would adjust it slightly, but essentially you've got these two sliding scales where we've got younger and faster on the one end and we've got um, older and slower on the other end. And as you tend towards either the older and or slower, you will walk more frequently. And for the faster and or younger runners, we'll walk less, less frequently. And that sliding scale operates from about two miles, so walking one I like to work on 60 to 90 seconds, so it's work, walking one minute every two miles or three kilometers. I know those aren't an exact match, but it's because it's just much easier for the math. So we work on 2Ks, three miles, and all the way up to on the faster and younger end where you'll be walking less frequently, that will be up to every six, um, six miles, nine kilometers. And and or something in between. So that is a little bit of a, 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 a negotiation and, and how we work it out and how you are comfortable doing it. But the, the sooner you learn to do it and do it rhythm, rhythmically, the better it's going to serve you for the longest time in your running. I have to laugh, Lindsay, because this is one pillar that I know you get a lot of pushback about. And it's very much a mindset thing. I, my dad was also a, a big runner in the 80s and 90s. And to this day, I'll say to him, I went out for a run. And it doesn't matter what I'm training for. It can be a marathon. It can be an ultra marathon. And he'll say to me, oh, how far did you go? And I'll say, oh, I went, I went 10 Ks or I went five miles, whatever it was. And he'll say to me, did you walk? And I'll say to him, yes. And he goes, it's because you're not fit enough. Uh, so it's definitely not a sign of weakness. And a lot of people think it is because they want to run fast and they think walking is going to slow them down. And I want to show you that you can absolutely run fast and include walk breaks. And uh, the lady that you see on screen now, her name is Caroline Wassman. I mentioned her at the start of the masterclass, and she has got an incredible story. Carol t uh, Caroline took up running because she wanted to lose weight after having a couple of children. She ran her first Comrades Marathon back in 2009 in a time of 9 hours and 17 minutes. She's obviously got a little bit of running ability, and she teamed up with Lindsay in the build-up to the 2015 Comrades Marathon. And I remember watching that race on television that year, and a bit of a backstory, the race had been dominated by this pair of Russian twins for many, many years, uh, and the television commentators were so excited that there was someone else in the lead of the race. This is early on. I mean, Comrades is a 56-mile race. This was 20 miles in, and they were like just... So they were so excited. And then all of a sudden, Caroline started walking. And they were like, oh, she's blown it. She's gone out too fast. And Caroline went on to win comrades that year in a time of 6 hours and 12 minutes with a run-walk strategy. Uh, that's averaging 636 per mile for 55 miles. It was the fastest average pace for a female runner ever on the comrades up run, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, and then another great story is Peter Price. Peter has been running for five years, uh, just about a turn 64. He said he listened to the Fast to Be on 50 webinar. I must admit he was skeptical about the run-walk strategy, but what he did was he used it in a marathon and ended up running a marathon PB. He did the second half faster than the first half and took eight minutes off his marathon PB. He broke 3.30 for the very first time at the age of 63, which is absolutely incredible. So just to sum up this pillar, and this is so important, okay? Regular scheduled walk breaks allows you to stay fresher for longer so that you're able to run faster. Longer. Lindsay, pillar number four is strength training. You alluded to the 